I'm Dala and welcome. And today, as you read by the title, we are going to be recreating Adriana Lima's makeup. I have personally been so obsessed with her and her makeup recently, so I really wanted to try it out. So let's go. So obviously she has gorgeous blue eyes, so we're gonna be popping in some blue contacts today from the collection Nano Dots from Volume 1 Carbomania, and it's in the shade You Budding. I have a shop my that I will link in the description where you can look at all the contacts that I use if you are curious about getting them. So let's put these in and I'll be right back. So now that I have my contacts in, I'm going to be color correcting my redness and just acne, just any imperfections with this Dazik color correcting concealer palette. It has all these different colors. And I highly recommend color correcting before putting on foundation. It just works wonders, trust me. Anything that you wanna cover up, if you color correct before you put on foundation, it will not show through your foundation, so I highly recommend it. I'm gonna be starting with this green shade first, and I just tap my finger into it, and then color correct my rosacea. Okay, now I am done color correcting, so I'm going to put on my foundation, and I'm going to be using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation. And I would say her base is rather airy and natural kind of looking, so she has a very skin-like finish. So I'm going to be using the foundation spatula brush to apply. So I'm just going to apply the foundation to my hand like that, get the brush, and just lightly tap it onto the brush. Make sure you're not putting it too much. And then just apply it onto your face like this. And you can see literally none of my redness is showing through or acne after color correcting. Then I'm going to get this puffer blender and blend it out like this. And literally after color correcting, I only needed that one thin layer of foundation and everything is covered. So now it is time for concealer and I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And I'm going to just apply it into my normal placements, which is these areas. And then now obviously I'm going to powder my face and I'm going to be using this kimchi setting powder in lavender and I'm going to apply it all over my forehead like this put it under my eyes like that and now I'm going to be contouring my face and I'm going to be using the I'm meme afternoon tea frozen choco palette I'm going to start with just this shade here just apply it into the areas where I think I need it you come to say hi? Hmm? You kind of look like Adriana Lima. <laughs> she has a pretty sculpted jaw, so I'm going to try to sculpt mine out better today. Yeah, but as I was saying, she has like a really sculpted jaw. So I'm going to try to sculpt mine a little bit. And she does do cheekbone contour, so I'm just going to slap on a little bit. Then I'm going to just do my nose a little. I'm going to contour underneath. This smells really good. I really like the smell of that. Underneath my nose, just a little. Going up along the sides. I'm going to contour up here and down here. And she does have blush just 
very, very little of it. So I'm going to be using this I'm Meme Afternoon Tea Blossom Tea Blended Palette. Now I think I'm going to use this more neutral, not really bright color. And she places hers up here, like this. Now it is time for eyebrows. The curvature of her eyebrows are pretty much like straight, but with like a very slight curve at the, I would say the arch is honestly more on the top than it is the bottom. So I'm gonna try to recreate that. And I'm gonna be using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in shade Cool Ash Brown. I would say that's pretty similar to her eyebrow shape. And I'm going to just add brow mascara on top of that. This is the NYX Brow Mascara in Blonde. Her eyebrows are definitely more on the dark side, but um, I don't have black hair, so <laughs> I can't really follow that. Again. So I think I'm going to try to go for her more smoky eye look because I think that's the most like iconic one so I'm gonna start off with just my bronzer and I'm gonna just use that as a base shade on my eyelids and I'm gonna put the same shades on the bottom like this and I'm just getting gray shades and just kind of blending them down here right there like that I'm gonna get black, but do it very lightly around this area only. And now for the eyeliner, I'm going to get this black eyeliner from Clio, this gel liner. And I'm going to very basically do a line and then smudge the crap out of it. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. Okay, I don't even care how messy it is because we're just basically gonna smudge it. There we go, like that. Basically, I'm going to tight line my top and my bottom lids. And then I basically just put white highlight up here and down here, and now it is time for mascara. I'm gonna be using this one from Maybelline, the Sky High one. I'm going to just make my lashes as full as I possibly can. And now for the lips. Then I'm gonna use this Dazik lip tint in shade 05. The Etude fixing tint in shade 05. Then of course, to give it that 2000s vibe, I'm going to conceal them a little bit. That might have been too much. I'm going to just pop some gloss on top of this. Then I'm going to use this Glint Stick Highlighter and just plop it onto my cheeks for some glow. On my nose as well. There we go. Let me let down my bangs and I'll be right back. Okay, and this is the finished Adriana Lima makeup. I feel like it is low-key so pretty. Especially, I feel like it would look good if you were going out at night. I highly recommend this makeup if you are going to go out somewhere at night. It just gives off like a very like nighttime -y vibe. Take me to dinner first. Jesus. She really liked the way that this came out. I don't do 2000s makeup often, but it, I know it will always eat. I feel like any 2000s makeup look is like suitable for like going out at night. It just all gives off like a very like nighttime -y vibe. Kitty. Anyways, but yeah, that is the end of this makeup tutorial. If you like this video and you want to see more of me, make sure you subscribe, comment any other makeup that you'd like to see me do, or just video ideas in general, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!